Well, the um, people moving into this unit that we just finished up insisted on getting new carpet for the two bedrooms that we left the old carpet because they were in decent shape. She insisted she wanted new carpeting, so I just ripped out the carpet, cut it into chunks, and um, boss said I could take them because they were just going to toss them because they're old. Um, and, of course, you know what I'm going to do with them. Yep, these are going to the yurt. So, I'm taking all of it that we were going to throw away, even though this is not clean or anything, I don't know. Still, I think it's better than having dirt. So, what I'm going to do is take all of this carpet and take it out to the yurt and leave it there until I have a chance to go back there and relay the, um, the whole floor with this carpet. At least that's the plan. We'll see how it actually works out. Alright, so I took all this carpet. I just hope it ain't stinky. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to put my nose right up to it. But I'm planning on taking all that carpet to use it as flooring for the yurt. I don't know if I'm going to rip up the whole thing or just cover the dirt area under the bed, which is what it's looking like I might do because I don't feel like redoing the whole floor for the entire yurt. Although I may. I don't know. It depends on how much energy I have. The boss said I could have it, so I'm taking it and having to load up the whole vehicle. I could have taken just a little piece and held it, but... Um, I figure, you know what, they're dumping it all. It's carpeting from two whole rooms. I'll take it to the yurt and dump it there, you know, at the yurt, and then work on it when I have time. Meanwhile, I'll just take it over there and leave it there, which means a run in the middle of the week here, actually the beginning of the week here, to head out to um, the compound all the way from Coco. I'm heading all the way out to the Palm Bay compound, which is kind of a long haul, but it's carpeting, and um, I think it'll make the yurt look better once I get it all laid out so we'll go ahead and do that and um, stay tuned I'm currently back out at the compound it is Monday August 7 2017 and I have brought with me the um, carpeting that we're getting ready to toss out from um, one of the uh, mobile home units. Boss said I could have it. So I thought I would take it and run it over to the yurt to cover the entire yurt floor with this carpeting. Now it's not the cleanest carpet in the world, but you're talking about a yurt out in the middle of the woods um, sitting on dirt that might flood. So, I figure I'll bring the carpet out here, and looks like somebody's out here. Looks like they have that Jeep almost decked out like a military rig. Anyhow, um, I figure I'd bring the, um, the carpeting out here, maybe lay it out today, or I might do it another day, but if I have time, I'll do it today. Um, replace the whole yurt floor with the carpeting and maybe put the rugs on top of that just to make the floor all carpeted that way people who go into the yurt um, I, I guess it'll make you feel a little bit secure or a little bit more secure because I'll give the yurt a little bit more of a home, homey feel to it um, a more completed feel I mean, it looks complete right now, but if you look under the bed, there's dirt. So, that means I may have to rip everything apart. I'm debating how much work I want to do today. But, um, it'd be nice to have the whole floor covered with, um, you know, the same kind of carpet. Then it just looks more complete. And then on top of that, I can throw the, um, the rugs. Or just leave it with carpeting and no rugs. Try to get the rugs clean. They got dirty because of the flooding. Although they look somewhat okay right now. But I mean they look dirtier than they did initially. But um. That's what we're planning on doing today. I'm going to go ahead and leave the camera running while I uh, drive through. Because you know how things happen out here. It always looks like nothing's gonna happen and then when I have the, as soon as I turn the camera off some crazy stuff goes on 
and I don't get it on camera. So, go ahead. Mm, yeah, the scrapings, the trees have grown. Now I notice tires, uh, there's only two tires here. I thought there were more. I never did pick up those tires. If you're looking at all that grayish stuff on my windshield, um, you're not imagining it. It's um, grayish stuff on my windshield. I think it's overspray from my um, painting. When I had painted it with the um, primer, painted the hood area, it might have oversprayed a bit. I can clean it off with some solvent or something, but I haven't really had a chance yet. It's not really been a priority. I figure once it rains real hard on it and I run the wiper, it'll probably take most of it off. Wow, look at this. Craziness. The trees are overgrowing. Okay, the Camp Freedom 2 looks pretty much like I left it. So I don't think anyone was out here, but I'll check it out. Here I am at the camp, Camp Freedom 2 here. Looks like nobody was here since I last left it this weekend. So I've got all this carpet that I've got to haul to the yurt area. Not looking forward to that, but we'll have more than enough carpet to cover the entire yurt with carpeting. 